What side effects do you feel with Taxol? Everybody is different. I'm sure you've heard that before, but it is very, very true. You don't know who I am. My name is Nerissa and I am a breast cancer survivor. I did AC chemo or what some people call the red devil first, and then I finished with Taxol and Carboplatin and Keytruda. Something I did during chemo was I just kept a little notebook and I kept a journal of each cycle, what cycle day it was, and any side effects I had, how I felt. Not only did that enable me to help you guys by keeping track of my symptoms, it allows me to flip back and be like, oh my god, I really, I did that. So I encourage it. Keep a little journal, keep track of your symptoms, and one day in the future when this is all a distant memory, you can flip back. But I got my little cheat sheet. So with Taxol, I was winded. Not just fatigued, but winded. Because for me, the fatigue was less than with AC. It didn't like knock me down flat on my face. So it tricked me into thinking I could do stuff. But then when I started doing stuff, I was frustrated because I was winded and it was like embarrassing and frustrating. Just little things like folding laundry or walking through a parking lot. Very, very frustrating. So be kind to yourself. You can ask for a handicap parking plaque, a temporary one, because you are at a higher risk of falling and you don't want to get an infection. I've talked about this before. With Taxol, I had bloody boogers. Super gross, super TMI, but we're being real here. It didn't happen all the time, but yeah, there was quite a few times where my nose would feel congested and I would blow my nose and it would be disgusting bloody boogers and that was from the Taxol. I had like extra stomach acid for lack of better words and burping. Just yeah, upset stomach. Pepsid is what really worked for me. I took that stuff religiously around my chemo days. Pepsid AC really helped me. Peeling fingertips. I might be able to find a picture in my camera roll. The tips of my fingers would peel. That was fun. Hair loss again. So I lost my hair right after my second round of AC. We had buzzed it. And then like two weeks later, I was naughty and I shaved it with a razor. If you're unfamiliar, your hair does still continue to try to grow a little bit. I was like, cool, maybe by the end of chemo, I'm going to have, you know, some, some fresh little baby hairs. No, because during Taxol, I think it was my second dose, the little stubbly hairs started to fall out. So hair loss and my eyebrows and eyelashes thinned quite a bit during Taxol and a month after I finished chemo when I thought I was good they all fell out. That's when No Brows Nerissa was born. Dry skin. My skin was so dry. It's, it's still dry. I'm nine months post chemo and it is still dry. So moisturize, drink lots of water, do what you can. I also had rashes. Uh, it was itchy, hot, tiny red bumps. It didn't cover my whole body. It was just in certain areas. My nurse practitioner said it was probably from Keytruda, Keytruda rash. But like I said, I don't know. Once, once I finished chemo in May, I never had a rash after that. So I am blaming either Taxol or Carboplatin. So these are things that I dealt with during Taxol. They may not happen to you. So just take all of this with a grain of salt. There are no dumb or stupid questions when it comes to this stuff. Seriously. Just because I had bloody boogers, if you have a bloody nose, please let your doctor know. Just stuff like that. There's no stupid questions. Always ask your team if you are unsure. There's no reason for you to suffer in silence and just think, oh, this is a normal side effect. Always double check. All right. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, you know you can reach out to me.